we're playing six middle schoolers versus one fifth grader. Now, this one is going to be really interesting because personally, I'm very far removed from the fifth or sixth grade, and that's like one year. Sometimes I literally look at somebody who's seven and I think they're 13. I have no gauge on the spectrum of how children look as they age. I'm just not good at it. Play along with me. I know some of you guys are younger, so maybe you guys will be way better at this than me, and let's just get into it and play along. So this is a Jubilee odd man out video. I love these. I love, love, love them. I am a middle schooler. I'm a middle schooler. I am a middle schooler. I'm a middle schooler. I'm a middle schooler. I'm a middle schooler. I'm a middle schooler. They all look like babies. They all look so tiny. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, what they do win the kids the do with price. this cash? Who do they buy V-Bucks or Robux? Questions need okay, answers. The hardest Perfect. text I've ever taken was the S back text. The S back text is basically He's wearing a shirt with a dabbing bear on it. And is that bear wearing a Rolex? A two hour long test that is really hard and I absolutely hate it. For mm -hmm. me it was um social studies. Cause like there are a bunch of people and like they also like sound the same. Hamilton, he made a bank. George Washington, he killed some people. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Just glazing over. George Washington killed some people. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I've already missed the opportunity to do first impressions. This all just came up really fast. I am a middle schooler. I'm a middle yes. schooler. Yes. I am a middle schooler. I don't know. I'm a middle schooler. No. I'm a middle schooler. Yes. I'm a middle schooler. Eva, Luke, and Ty, they all look like they could be the moles. From the beginning, I was probably most she looks suspicious older. about Ty. And so I just like kept my eye on him. Mine was a history older. test. Oh. I hate history. If there was could be no history in this world, I'd be happy for the rest of my life. Kaylee, I know you're young, but that's how history repeats itself and the bad things happen again. We need history. It's very important to know where we came from, how we got here, and how we don't do some of these things again. Luke, you're quite non So my hardest test was, so I'm in sixth grade, but I take seventh grade math now. Ooh. You know, like six, seven accelerated. Oh yeah, I, I do. I do that. So, do I just start talking? I was absolutely gunning for Luke. There was something in him. He was quiet. I feel like <laughs> middle schoolers are complete extroverts. They love talking. Well, Luke pulling up with the high socks. You know, he's in middle school. You know, he pulls up every day like sheesh. Like I just have no doubt. Like seriously, like look at him with the Patagonia. His parents ride horses. I just know it. When you're at school, you learn, like, there's not much going on. But yeah. when you miss a day, there's so much you like, miss. I'm usually a healthy child, and I'm not really sick. But whenever I'm sick, there's always a substitute. I hate my, sub yeah. my substitute because she will let every other kid do anything by themselves. Like, you could go to the office. You could go downstairs. You you go to the recess to get something that you accidentally left. Wait, you have recess? My sub's only no, I'm nice talking about an elementary. She said something about uh -oh. recess. I was like, we don't have recess. <gasps> my sixth grade is an elementary school, so we still do have recess. Yeah. So I thought it was kind of the same for her. You've yeah. been a big... I had recess until the seventh grade. So the way my school was divided up, I had first through fourth grade, and then we had fifth and sixth grade, seventh and eighth grade, and then high school, like, you know, ninth through twelfth grade. So mine was, like, very, very divided growing up. Like <laughs> quiet. Okay, well, it's because you're all talking you over quiet. me. <laughs> what what it, was, it was really hard to talk because... I literally forgot this kid existed. He was, he was very quiet. We're paying attention now. Ty to my left, T couldn't stop talking. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so it's math right now we're learning about the slope. So it's basically two dots on a graph and you have to find the difference between those dots. That was my least favorite. Uh, Your that turn. Least favorite. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> You're yeah. I wanted to be kind of the leader. I wanted people to see me like, this kid's not the mole. He's way too... Again, with the dabbing bear shirt, I can't stop looking at it. Also, Ty, you're a little suspicious because I feel like generally the mole likes to talk a lot in these situations as a way to control the conversation and maybe not get a lot of questions asked to themselves. They like to more so ask for people to answer questions. You're aggressive to not to be the mole because mole people... Mole people would obviously be quiet. But middle school? I guess it's red. I'm guessing. Oh, um, <laughs> wait, no, it's not red yet. Middle school is the black hole of it's crap. Red. It's red. Okay. It's red. Wait, red. no. Middle school is the black hole of crap. Thank you, Ty. This is kind yeah, of burgundy. Yeah, it's 
red. This is burgundy. Red. Okay, this is definitely red now. It's red. It's yeah. <gasps> they think it's tie too. But like I said, I don't think these kids have very defined strategies just yet. Oh no, I they're voting out the- I because, I mean, I kind of could tell that people were gonna come for me. So I had to go for someone I thought like everyone was gonna His vote eyes for are adorable. To save myself. He's like, he's got little puppy eyes. I, I've been studying oh, middle schoolers ever up. since they said, Ty, you wanna be in the odd ones out? I was like, sure. I started I started analyzing everything a middle schooler does and everything a middle schooler wouldn't do. It's all about the same though. It's like one grade There's apart. There's a tie between two people. The tie is between Luke and Afi. Oh, okay, no. so I have seven periods because in our middle school we have that. And do y'all have study halls? Because we do. And in seventh in seventh grade math right now we're um we did rate of change and that was I didn't really that was the one where I missed the day before. And I'm a sixth grader because my play and in PE and elementary I didn't do dodgeball and this year we do dodgeball and and um Okay, so that was very hard to watch. Obviously, he did not have any time to study or prepare a speech about why he is a sixth grader, but just being like, um, yeah, I'm a YouTuber because today I, I woke up, I got a, you know, I got a cup of coffee and today my coffee was a little bit strong because I didn't dilute it with enough like creamer. So like, it's just kind of funny. There's no, there, it's not funny. It's just kind of, that was hard. That was hard to watch. Okay. It was hard to watch. I'm a seventh grader. I have six periods. My elective is leadership and I didn't be able to say this before, but my least favorite tests are geography tests because there's so many places. And it's like, there especially are, when are we, a lot have of to, we have to mark certain states, it's just really annoying trying to remember all of it. And then um, for, um, we have to run the mile every week. And what else do we have? Oh, we are right now learning about the Byzantine Empire. I thought he was smaller and he was kind of quiet. Oh, no! I don't think it's him. I don't think it's him. <gasps> What's sad about these videos is like these are kids, so they sometimes just start crying. They just start crying and it's so sad because it's like really not that serious and it's just like we're all having fun here. And then they start crying. I would be the kid that cried. Like if I got voted on this, I would definitely be crying, okay? So I'm not judging anyone, but like it gets a little sad sometimes. I guess it's because a lot of people say I look young. It could be because of my height or because of my voice. But yeah. Okay, who uses TikTok? Huh? I, don't. I do. Oh, I do. I have. That's something totally a mole would say. Luke, are you the mole? I use TikTok because the girls always take my phones and make TikToks on them. <laughs> it's so annoying. Luke the player, are you kidding me? All the girls are like, hee hee hee. Girls always take my phones and make TikToks on them. <laughs> it's so annoying. What, what, when you guys went to middle school, like your first day, like what were you most worried about? Well, I hate my sixth period, my, my sixth grade teacher. And I did not. I actually liked him. Like, Ty, I think I can really trust him. Because he, he like, he talks a lot like me. Okay. I was nervous I was, that we were going to get a bunch of homework. Oh I was worried about my That's teachers because, like, as soon as you walk in, they're, they're going to be all balling you like, I don't know who you is, explain. <laughs> I was true. scared of, like, people not liking me. Because oh, <laughs> in fifth grade, a lot of people did not like me. <laughs> Girl, me either. I have some very sad diary entries from the fifth grade. We won't talk about it. There's life after fifth grade. I'll just say that much, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh, she seems so likable, though. That's, like, shocking to hear. Because in fifth grade, a lot of people Laugh it didn't off. like me. <laughs> She's <laughs> laughing it off. The toughest thing about being in middle school is the people that you go to school with because yes. kids are sometimes really mean and they're judgmental but yeah mostly she's so like cute. they said i was annoying <gasps> same That's here i don't think like... you're annoying i actually think yeah, you're kind of like cool yeah i like you so far when i got, when I got so into far. middle school so like my my brother and my sister they all went through the same middle school as me and i had some teachers they had and they were pretty bad kids so when i came in i was like oh gosh and she sees my last name she goes stark with her and then she just gives me like dead like eye. And like, <laughs> like, 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 I'm watching you. Well, Sarah and Luke, they were right next to me, so I was able to talk to them. I thought they were being really, really honest, and I didn't think there was anything suspicious. 
Dude, I remember when walking in the middle okay. school and seeing like the eighth graders that had mustaches and I was like, and this, like, I ain't in Kansas anymore. You. I have to like look up because I'm one of the shortest ones. <laughs> so they're like right here and they're like giving me a high five. They're like up high and I'm like, I can't <laughs> reach it. Hey, year were you guys born in? I was born in 2007. I was born Same in 2008. Here. I was born in 2007. I was born in 2008. I'm one of the younger ones. <laughs> I, I was born in 2008, but I'm super smart. If I was the mole, I would just answer the same year that anybody else answered before me. I like I talk about this often. I was born in 1995. That makes me sound ancient. I'm not like one of the like the short kids. Yeah. Like I'm I'm like the one that goes like Excuse me, is you there? <laughs> like, I, feel, I feel like you're a grown woman put into a little girl's body. <laughs> <laughs> the way her sass was, she was like, and her, her emotions and what she did. Sir, obviously she was putting on an act. Kind of showed me, it was like, she is very sassy. And I, and to be honest, I kind of enjoyed that. Okay, so we got to do this quickly. In my what opinion, you you're the mole. Where do you guys exactly. eat lunch? Like, at like I, lunch? I eat lunch we eat uh, outside, because there's these little friend. lunch oh, tables. Yeah, have, yeah. 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 Turning red, guys, turning guys, red. Guys, guys, it's getting dark. And our cafeteria, I, 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 I see. Great, like <laughs> <laughs> time for chopping block like part two. I voted for Ty because he was a bit too outgoing, and I thought something was suspicious. Yeah, he was really, really loud. <laughs> I voted Ty uh -oh. out because I kind of thought he was the mole, and whenever he dropped his card, it said my name. Ty dropped his card and exposed that he was gunning for Luke. I saw it, like the end of her, like she was writing an H at the end, and I was like, oh, so we coming for me now. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Do I get to like say why I'm so... I was like, what? <gasps> and I was like, I'm determined to find whoever voted Tayo. I realized I'm talking a lot and I'm saying, and I'm shooting out people. People are gonna think I'm a mole. I realized that a little too late, so that's... That's okay. That was it's just bad. a game. It's just a game. What is a myth that you've heard about middle school that like wasn't something that's funny to me? It's like raise your hand if you think the mole stole the box. If everyone raised their hands, it's like, well, what about the three people who voted for Ty? They didn't think that he was the mole. I don't. That's something I don't get. Maybe they're just not sure. They just want more money. It's not actually true. Like, what your teachers tried to scare you about. There's one yeah. myth that I don't. It didn't come from my teacher. It came from a lot of seventh graders for some reason. And they're like, oh, people get in trouble for kissing in the halls. I'm like, geez. I would have like, whoa. Where are you in the middle teacher, school? You finna get detention. Uh, oh, detention. yeah. It's a myth. Like, you okay. get a lot of detention yeah, okay. for little things, but yeah. it's not true. Little things? You guys are making out in the halls? How old are seventh graders? About 12 to 13 years old. You guys are making out? Oh. True. The seventh yeah, graders told me sensitive. like, Go you ahead. can use your phone in class. So I came in class with my phone <gasps> and then a teacher's like, detention. You're oh, no. I was like, That's how you we used yeah. to be able to go to Disneyland, but they said oh. they set one of the characters on fire. So now we have to go to Knott's oh. Berry Farm, not Disneyland. What is the hardest homework that you, have, that you guys have ever done? Ooh. Math, anything math. math. I hate yeah, math. math. math so is hard. I remember we had a project due on Friday. And my friend, she forgot the whole thing at home. That's I was so mad I didn't talk to her for a week. Wait, how many, cl how many classes do you have? It's already sad. Oh. I have six. Oh. Okay. All right, who are we voting and why? We're not getting a lot of answers here. We're just randomly voting people off, it sounds like. Uh, oh my. Everyone feels so bad too. Raise your hand. I have a headache. Red, <gasps> oh, it's happening! It's over! Okay. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Who's the mole? Oh my gosh. I messed up. I was like, <laughs> I should have raised my hand. Who is it? Maybe it's the girl in the black t shirt. No. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> I know! I voted for you! I voted for you! Backstab me! I didn't backstab you! I didn't backstab you! As soon as you mentioned me! I got everyone fooled. What I learned Seriously? the most is to not trust anyone. 
everyone is my enemy. Never to trust anybody. That is a statement. Everybody is my enemy. Not a not acquaintance, not just a passerby. Enemy. You can't trust anybody. I'm going to start watching my friends a little closer. I'm going to especially watch my teachers even closer. I can't believe that I trusted the mole. I always try to look at the best of people, and then they backstab oh. you. Technically, she didn't you know, vote for me, but still. Backstab's a backstab. A backstab's a backstab. Yes, sir. So she gets all this money? That's so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video with me. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. I would so much appreciate it. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.